you don't say everything's for sale and then start secretly taking stuff from my pile. That's not how this works. Today's adventure takes us into some old barns to explore what has been saved in here for years. Lots of watering cans. Yeah. Yeah. Azatha, you weren't talking about that wagon, were you? Were you talking about this red wagon? Oh, there's a canoe. This is where you store your artwork outside. Save this for next trip. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Call the wild potatoes. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh, here's what it was original. Yeah, no, it, it, this, no, not this one. I'm talking about the one oh, on that shelf. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Richard Simmons says he have a headband. Nope, no headband. What headband? A wiener dog. This is Bob Seger. Aww. Dotson says he's bought a gallon gas. Bob Seger and a silver bullet band, baby. That's a good album. Oh, this is nice. The metal. Ah, the one wheel is. It's nice though. Problems here. It is. Now it is. It ain't now it is. Dog. Dog. Yeah, yeah. Because. Uh, oh, Mickey. You know, oh, he's so sad. The I think it's the next one. No ears? No. Yeah, I would. I mean, I would ask him what what's he. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. That's the that's the my little pile. Yeah, yeah. Um, what he wants because uh, this seems a little crazy. 
the pink bar. Okay. No. Not that way. I want to see both. I didn't want to pull it and then let it go. <laughs> no. Oh, it has a tennis court. Oh, is that a pool or a tennis court? Okay. What the heck? Oh, yeah. That's oh, in my chair. In my chair. In my chair. Yeah. I tried to open the door from the other way. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. one's more full, huh? Yeah, well, they were. Like the stage machines. That's a wow workout. Yeah, you know, want me to go in there? Yeah. Do you want me to? I can lift it up. All right. This is a clock. Clock. I like the fact that they're uh, mortise and tenons. You see it? Oh, there's yeah. a Grateful Dead. That was sort of like oh, the mirror. Sort of like, the mirror. Yeah, sort of like. That's the problem. Oh, those are the chandeliers. They've, they've just you been. Know what? Guys? Yeah, what? Yeah. Good news. They're sticking. No, no, I, I, I'm thinking more like Frank Lloyd Wright. There you go. <laughs> no, no. But, Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, oh, that's cool. I think. Then you better be on the guy's good side. Oh my God, I'm wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> that was short lived. Maybe I'm not. Oh my God. No, I'm wondering, but I don't know why there's. I wonder if this is just a side chair. Isn't it? Let me look. It doesn't I, look like it ha would I have broken. See. That's what I'm looking. There's nothing on no, the. No, I'm looking. I don't see anything on. That's why I was saying it first. Yeah. I don't know why we'd have. Why would we have three armchairs? Would be here. Well, no. Yeah. I don't Is see there it. no hole or anything? No. There's records. Genesis. These look like they're in good shape, actually. <laughs> For being out here. Yeah, I mean, we got Genesis. Oh, yeah? David Gates, whoever you know, he is. Bonnie Raitt. Oh, jeez. He was keeping the uh, stoves. Oh, yeah, you said that. <sighs> I do love the chairs. Oh, that's interesting. They put it in there. I don't know. A lot of books. Yeah, but they're... Oh, they're bad? I'm really big And then you gotta hope that they're not rat poop and everything. What are you good? Yes. What else is Oh, jeez. They look I love pretty, this one. pretty rough. Oh, well, here you go. That's just a really nice one. Pretty cute. Oh, David Lee. Oh, that's not. Oh, Rex Smith. I thought that was David Lee Roth. It does look like David. Oh, Ozma of Oz. Oh, Oz. That's what I said. Little Lisa. This is a beautiful book here. That's Tell Toy Story. Born in Peace. Should we take this box down? <laughs> oh, see for them look. What? The bad? Just all, all yeah, mold. Yeah, yeah. This is a great box. I love this box. Well, the cover. Yeah. Ooh, I'll take these too. Christie's. Oh, that's pretty cool. Christie's Since the War. That's a great box. We take a whole box. I love it. Jules of Zane. What does that say? Frank and Show. Frank and Show. Oh my god. I looked up some of them and well, I don't want to. I don't want to burst your bubble. Here's Voltaire. I don't want to burst your bubble. I don't want to burst your bubble. You're, you're, you're such a bubble burst. No, I'm not. I'm realistic. Really? This is what I, like you're I said. Burst. You're not thinking you're getting. Uh, who's called West? Yeah. Chris Solomon. Yeah. didn't kick us off the We didn't get kicked out yet. <laughs> so he told us he said go ahead. Ooh. The pull actually might be in this. That's remember you saw that? That was over here though. Yeah. So oh, I like these. They moved around. Stuff moved around. They should be over here, Renee. That's so fine. are these for sale? I think so, yeah. That was over here, remember? In the pictures? Oh, yeah. I remember it. I remember it. Okay. Remember it. Okay. Remember it. Uh oh, I found the best thing. Uh -uh. <laughs> Is that. No, it says the box over there, but it's not for that. I still use my iPod. I have a nano. A, is this a first gen? Oh, 
Well, this is a cute little chair, isn't it? I like this, like this wicker here, isn't that cute? That's pretty neat, right? Oh, I love it. Probably have to get to all the wickers though, huh? Have to take it all? We'll get that next time. Yeah, there was a cool wicker. Oh, I love the corner. Isn't that corner chair? You gotta, corner chair you gotta clean out your yeah, room. That corner chair is so hard. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Look at this. Oh, what's right there? What's right there? It has to be next to next trip, right? Aha. Aha. Is that another egg? Is that another egg? Look at that. I think it's egg. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that closes. Oh, I love it. Isn't that cute? Hmm. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that great? That's a cutie. That is too cool. Oh, there's the radios he was talking about. Okay. There's a box of radios, he said, and, and I didn't see them. Right. Look at this one. Isn't this cool? Look how cool this is. These are nice. There's even nice little wood frames. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're cute. Yeah. Actually, really nice. Yeah, you can watch it. The one, the one, that guy's picture. I like this one. He just passed away at 100. He murdered his brother. I'm going to take that one. Actually, I'm going to take them all. No, I, I tripped on the box of dishes. I was told me to pull them out and then put them back. Not me. Not I. I have a big heart. I have a big heart. Try to kill me. <laughs> You know, I can, I can barely walk on flat ground. Jeremy yeah, I mean, tripping over boxes. Crazy women. Crazy women. Crazy women. Crazy women. All right. I just, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be interesting. Ah. Okay. Stuff. It's been sitting out here for years, and then when we go to buy it, oh no, they want it. it. Happens every time. Tony's trying to make the deal now. I don't know how this is gonna go. This has been a difficult situation all day. It's been very awkward. That's a part of the business, I guess. So the Oz books that I had found, uh, the owners took them. They want them back too. This is this is ridiculous. Many times I say that this was an interesting day, and yes, this was. <laughs> oh my gosh, the world of picking, the world of dealing with people and their stuff, even if it is stuff that has been in a barn and an outbuilding for years and years and years that they haven't looked at, they haven't touched. For years and years and years the only thing that has been looking at this stuff were the mice and the birds and the bats so tony was invited to go out to a property that had a lot of outbuildings and barns and do a pick great yeah he goes out there he talks to them takes pictures of things see see what's there and see if it's you know something that we want to do yes we do we go back we're having fun going through the barn, seeing the old uh, cow stalls. It, it, it is great to be able to go to these properties and see what is there. So we're doing that, we're picking some stuff, putting it aside. The owner shows up and they are for some reason under the impression that Tony is taking everything and he's going to take it to the flea market, sell it for this person and then give this person the majority of the money that is made and keeping only a little part as like payment for taking it to the flea market. So that was, I think, red flag number one. We're not doing that. <laughs> this isn't consignment here. It's not Tony and his gang's consignment shop. Um, so that was the first red flag. Then it was uh, not pleasant to listen to, that's for sure. You know they started going on how you know they they need someone you know, they were they were told we were going to take it all you know what you cherry pick everything and then 
they're left with the junk, you know, they need a clean out, they have a barn full of bleep books and they need those bleeping books gone. They need someone to buy all the bleeping books. This book section is important. Um, and you know, it just I'm I'm looking at the other guy that's with us. I'm like, let's just leave now. Let's just leave. This is not not going to go well. So Tony was able to calm this person down, you know, talk to them, reassure them that you know we are going to take a lot of stuff. And we're there. This is just the first day. We're just going through, and you know we, we will take stuff. We just gotta take stuff that's good for the market that following day, and we'll be back. Okay, calm the person down. So we're looking around, we're finding stuff, you know, it's, you know, the, the barn, the rusty, the crusty, the dirty, the dusty. Hey, that rhymed. And it's fun. So we go into the book barn where it's just box after box of books. And you can see that they've been out there for quite some time. They have, um, you know, the mice have been using the books for food. There's mouse, um, you know, droppings and urine. There's bird stuff. There's just dirt and dust and wasp nests. So these books have been out there for some time. I find two Wizard of Oz books and another book, an older book that had uh, really nice illustrations. Put those. I'm going to take these. I'll put them in my pile. My pile for me, for my personal use, not my pile for, you know, flea market pile. So I add them to my pile of things where we all had all of our stuff gathered. We go down to another barn and we're looking through stuff there. That's the barn with the photo album. There were some tin types in there, some nice photographs. When Tony was there prior, that album was just laying on the floor uh, in the dirt and like wood and stuff all piled around it or on it. So when we got there into that barn, it had been moved family members had been in and they were taking stuff, which is fine. It's your family, we understand. You've had this stuff in here for I don't know how many years and now they come out when someone's going to buy it. Okay, that happens, we get it. So we started to put our piles together there. Tony mentions the photo album. How I love photos and I was excited to find it. And then we're told, oh no, that's like, that's my great grandmother's photo album. I love that photo album. I, I don't think I can sell it. Oh, Twilight, Twilight Zone. Do, 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 So it's your beloved grand, great grandmother's grandmother's photo album. And it's been just hanging out on the dirty, dungy floor in this barn for I don't know how many years. Why didn't you put it inside? Why didn't you keep it inside so that the photos don't get ruined? So that they're not chewed on? So that, you know, water doesn't get in? I don't know. That's just what I would do. So that gets crossed off the list. That's not even taken inside. It's just laid back on the floor. But wait, it gets worse. So we're digging. We're finding stuff, making piles. Then it comes down to, okay, you know, we're ready to, to settle up, give you some money for this stuff, enough to let you know that we're serious and we would like to come back and take more stuff. So we go through the pile that we have at this lower barn. Tony mentions the pile up at the top that includes my little pile of stuff with the three books. And okay, here's the price, that's good. We start loading up. We go back up to the top to finish loading up there and lo and behold my little books have grown legs and they're gone <laughs> they're gone they're gone nowhere to be found uh tony said well, maybe you put it in the van i go check in the van it's not there i'm looking all around i'm looking in because then tony had a box of books and he noticed hey you know my books kind of like they're not all there either so we're looking, my books aren't in there. They're not, they're, my books are nowhere to be found. The other things that I had were there, but not my books. Now, we have already paid for what we picked, the books included. So, uh, Tony then goes and asks before we leave, 
what where the books went oh they're inside what oh yeah they were like my grandkids read them when they were little so we're we're gonna keep them for now but you can have them back just later you can have them back later the thing is okay they're just books I understand that you know they're not worth a hundred two hundred three hundred dollars a piece uh, they do have damage to them they were you know the older Wizard of Oz which I like I love the illustrations you know you have TikTok, you have um, Jack the pumpkin head and I I just love those books the gump you know the moose on the bed the thing is is that when you know we're settling up and paying for these things that we have picked. There was no mention of, oh wait, we took some things. None of that. So they weren't going to say anything to us about them taking the books. And second, these books were referred to the bleepin' books in the bleepin' barn and we want to get rid of all the bleepin' books. <laughs> you can tell I'm really fired up because my head's just bobbing away. Um, so here we have another thing that's so important to you you know they were your grandkids books amongst all these other books out there for years you know little mice birds everything in them and they were that important to you but you never took them or removed them until I went through the boxes I found them picked them out and then you take them from my pile <laughs> you can't make this stuff up and it's true it is so true Tony says it all the time I've seen it this just shows us again and it, it makes me want to urge you all that if you have you know a family member that has passed away or if you're dealing with a home that you purchase and it's filled with stuff or even if you're just going through your own things and you're thinking of inviting in someone to do a clean out or to do a pick, an estate sale, an auction, please, please, please go through everything beforehand. I know it's tedious. It can be a lot of work. It can be emotionally um, challenging. It can be physically challenging, but you need to do it because you will not have that issue where someone is digging in the bottom of some trunk or cupboard and they find this thing that you haven't seen in 25 years and you didn't even remember it was there but now because someone else is going to buy it or it's not going to be in that cupboard you know for another 25 years you want it especially if you've already made a deal with an estate sale company, an auction company, a buyout company, a clean out company, because that could ultimately, depending on what that item is, break the deal. It could end it, you know? So I would really just encourage you all that if you are going into that kind of situation to look and make sure that you have removed the things that mean something to you or you've just removed them out of that building, the barn, the basement for a time being so that you can check in with your family members on who may or may not want it. It will save you a lot of trouble. It will save the people that you're working with a lot of trouble and it just makes for better, better business. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. You have something that is so beloved to you and that you love so much and it's sitting on a dirty floor in a barn with mouse droppings and, you know, water damage. <sighs> so, <laughs> I did not get the books and I did not get the photo album. Photo albums are tricky, I know. You know, you may have no idea who the people are in the photos, but knowing that maybe one of them was your great, great, great uncle Al, you might want to keep it. I get that, but I don't know. To take stuff out of the piles and then not even say that you took it, but go ahead with the price that included those things. 
just saying all right so what did i get <laughs> well tony's bringing a whole bunch of stuff to the flea market that we decided was better for the flea market um, not necessarily online or ebay you know egg baskets just take them to the flea market they're gonna sell easily on there um, and because a lot of the stuff did have damage or was a little bit dirty or just more it was more flea market good flea market day items so we went uh, with Tony taking those to the flea market. For my personal self, I came back with these really cute frames. Now personal self meaning I'm not reselling these. These are for me. We have my reselling pile, which that's flea market. And then my personal pile, which is me, I'll keep them. So yes, these really nice wooden frames. I really liked this one the pattern on it it's almost like a little flower so we got those and then he's so sad <laughs> poor mickey he's lost his ears but it is a vintage mickey um, marionette i guess his ears would be easy enough to make again too bad because the rest of him well besides he has no strings i got no strings to hold me down uh, are gone we got that and then i also took a dog bowl <laughs> for the dog i don't have but i thought it was cute you know maybe one day i'll have my own little dog and i don't know if this is uh what kind of paint and this would be safe Maybe just use it for decoration. I could put some little doggies that I find at the flea market in there. So yeah, that was it. <laughs> uh, I know I'm probably gonna get, oh, Renee, you were so rude today. You know, those poor people. I understand it is hard to see your stuff go. You know, you might think that you're ready to part with that barn where things have been stored in there for the last 35 years and then when it comes down to it you just aren't but the fact that things were removed and we weren't even told you know if we wouldn't have said anything we they probably just thought we forgot <laughs> um, and the fact that they were referred to in such a um, derogatory manner that you know you think you'd want us to take all the books then you take it back from me ah. and the photo album what are you gonna do um, they did say that you know if they go through it and see that it's not their family then we can have it but like the books i'm pretty sure they're gonna keep it so it happens it, it we we've been on many jobs where it this does happen so it's kind of expected i think just the conditions and the situations are, are funny all a part of this picking picking gig and then just learning how to deal with what happens be able to laugh about it have a good chuckle and move on to the next so we will be going back of which i told tony that you know i think we need to be a little bit more specific in stating okay so everything in this barn is for sale everything because we don't want to be spending three to four hours pulling stuff out, digging stuff out, and then being told, oh, well, actually, we're going to keep everything. Because that can happen, and it does happen. I've had that happen to me at estate sales. <laughs> Two and a half hours in the attic. Oh, we're going to keep this. It's just, it's just a part of it. It's, it's just a part. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. It still was a lot of fun going through the barns and seeing what was in there and just seeing the older structures and would love to, I mean, that property is nice. You know, you could redo some of those barns into nice little offices or libraries or little cottages, but another lifetime, another lifetime. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this adventure and what an adventure it was. <laughs> I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.